Good evening and welcome to day 15 or night 15 of our Advent retreat and I hope that you can hear me and see me okay and I'd like to say welcome, welcome to each one of you who are making this retreat very special and thank you dear Sister Sue and uh, Veronica for the sound and vision check. <clears throat> So let us begin, and before we start, I want to play this track and then we will evolve into the theme for this evening. So just relax, make yourself comfortable and be still. <clears throat> Yes, it's a joy to get to know you and to walk with you in love. And the theme this evening, the coming of the Lord. And we read from Henry J.M. Newen these beautiful words. It is Advent again. In his sermon this morning, Oscar Usen said, be alert, be alert so that you will be able to recognize your Lord in your husband, in your wife, 
in your parents, in your children, in your friends, your teachers, in your monastic communities, but also in all that you read in the daily papers. The Lord is coming, always coming. Be alert to his coming. When you have ears to hear and eyes to see, you will recognize him at any moment of your life. Life is Advent. Life is recognizing the coming of the Lord. And in the Christian Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, Chapter 13, verses 32 to 36, we read, But above that day or hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will return, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. Lord Emmanuel, Prince of Peace, let us be especially alert to your coming this Advent. As a parent listens for the cry of an infant, as a sailor watches for land, as an astronomer scans the skies, as a doctor watches for signs of returning health, let us be attentive to your arrival. Let not pride and arrogance blind us and put us to sleep. Give us the endurance to be true watchers of the night as we journey together through this Advent. Amen. Just reflect in your heart and ask yourselves, am I alert to the promptings of that inner voice? And if I'm alert, what is the inner voice of spirit saying to my heart? Coming to a beautiful piece of prose, we read, 
with open hands. St. Thomas of Solano wrote this in the second life of Francis. No one desired gold as much as he desired poverty. And no one was so careful in guarding this treasure as he was careful in guarding this great pearl of the gospel. When we pray, we should occasionally cup our hands and hold them open before God, just like that. So let us try this now and listen to our heart and imagine that Francis of Assisi is before you and he comes and he takes your hands and he forms a cup. Look into this cup. What do you see? What do you sense? There is a heartbeat in this cup. It is getting stronger by the second. And you're guided to bring it towards you. And you can feel that beat, that powerful beat in your cupped hands. Just look through the eyes of spirit into those sacred hands and just allow the spirit of the Advent story come, come and speak with you. Come. There is definitely a heartbeat in these cupped hands. It is not your heartbeat. It is the beat of love. All that you represent in your life. It is the heartbeat of God. A God who has many names, but still God. And in these cupped hands, you are being guided now to place yourself into these cupped hands because these are sacred hands. Place yourself in these beautiful hands. And now Mary and Joseph come to you. Up until now, you have been coming to them, but they are coming to you. because they recognize the symbol of love. They see the light shining in the dark from your hands. And though night has fallen on the desert plain, there is a vortex of love flowing from your hands that is drawing Joseph and Mary to you. And as you look through the eyes of spirit, there you see Mary and Joseph standing in front of you. And they place their hands around your hands that are cupped. And in your hands, you can see What can you see? 
What can you see that's pulsating in your hands? And with each in-breath that you breathe in and each out-breath that you breathe out, you are breathing life into these cupped hands. Because in these very hands of yours is the unborn child that Mary shares with you. It's as if your hands have become a scanning machine where you are reflecting what's going on inside her womb. And she can see, she can see, as can Joseph. The unborn babe, soon to be set free, but he's come into your cupped hands, into your sacred hands, and he is resting in the love, in the warmth of your beating heart. And you feel the love of Mary from her hands, touching your hands. And you feel the love of Joseph through his hands that are touching Mary's and now touching yours. Experience a pre-Christmas gift from the Advent story. A gift from the divine to you. A recognition that you are a beloved of God. That you are the most beautiful child of God. And you have shown your love in this Advent story by being here. By being present with your spiritual family who are all around you. And you gaze into those cupped hands and you can see what no eyes could ever see. You are seeing the mystery of the Advent story unfold before your very eyes. And you are at peace. You have become peace. You are peace. Just relax and allow the Holy Family to welcome you as their own. Experience this unconditional selfless love. And they are allowing you to take part in the unfolding of God's love for the whole of mankind, knowing 
that many will walk away. Many will walk away. And you are here. And you stand in the presence of God, barefoot, filled with the peace of God. And each in-breath that you breathe in, you are breathing the life force energy of this amazing universe and the love of Gaia up through your feet balancing and cleansing each of your energy wheels or chakras and now that it comes to your heart your cupped hands are coming closer and closer to your heart And as you turn your hands towards your heart, you are allowing something amazing to take place. You are allowing your heart embrace the heart of God. And around you is a choir of angels singing the divine praises in your honor because you are holding in your hands the essence of love. And your heartbeat is strong now and you can still discern that small heartbeat from the infant in Mary's womb and her hand is stroking your hand with a mother's love and she's sharing this with you because she knows she can trust you she knows that you will not run away. She knows that you are the beloved of God, a child of God. Stay with this and allow the healing touch of Mother Earth our Heavenly Mother, in the presence of the nine choirs of angels, administer to you now, empowering you, take back your power from anyone or everyone, anything or everything that has left you wounded and fractured. and just fall into the arms of the Beloved. Relax now, O oh child of God. Sense the peace and the love. of the unborn child calling out to you to come to be present. Relax. And now Mary removes her hands from your hands and she places them around you, the surrogate, 
she sees you as a surrogate parent for God. And you feel very close to this young Jewish woman who's allowing you share in the mystery of the incarnation of God. She's inviting you to be a silent sleeping partner in the most amazing story ever to be told and you will be there. Relax now. And Mary gently leaves you. She gives you a blessing. And she continues with Joseph to find a shelter spot to rest for the evening. And as she leaves you, you go and rest alone with these beautiful memories and where Mother Earth prepares a dwelling for you to sleep in this sacred earth where God is present and you close your eyes and you drift in spirit cherishing and treasuring these sacred moments and you are relaxed. You are relaxed in your mind, in your body, in your spirit. And all is well. All is well. And you can hear spirit inside you speaking to you. You are a child of God. You are a beloved of God. You are whole. You are perfection. You are complete. And as you drift into the spiritual world, you know that you are meant to be here. And you feel around your feet, your blessed feet, Mother Earth preparing you for this journey for the final walks into Bethlehem. She's preparing you. Receive now. Receive the love from the angelic realm, from the animal kingdom, from Mother Earth and all the nature spirits and tree divas, the elementals and fairies, all God's creatures. And they're now resting with you alone. Enjoy the peace. Enjoy the solace. Come home, 
Come home to who you are, a beloved of God. That's what you are. And just see what God sees. A star so bright. star that's now surfacing into the galaxy and is now preparing the wise men to come from afar and you are their star you are this star Relax now. Relax. And when you feel ready, open your eyes. Open your eyes. And just experience gentleness, serenity, and peace around you. And as you sit in your divine presence, a child of love, a child of God, let no negative voice rape your divinity. This is your time to celebrate the rebirthing of the Christ within you. Cosmic Christ. This is your journey. This is your coming home to your divine truth. And you are its teacher its mentor. You are spirit incarnate as a child of God. prayer I'm given to share with you is the Celtic blessing. For they have guided this evening and it's they who must end this evening. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day, this night, be in your heart. And we call on the angelic realm, the messengers of God, who minister to you 24 seven, seen and unseen. We call on brother sun and sister moon and God's little creatures around you we call on our forefathers. We call on the great men and women of all faith traditions who have gone before us and who've paved the way for us. And we now place you into the arms of the beloved 
and rest well, for this is your time. This is the first day of the rest of your life. Go in peace. Go in peace to celebrate the heartbeat that you experienced at this time. For you are a light bringer of peace. Oh, 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 oh,